Hi, this is a common kind of question that you might get in an exam uh, when you're asked to reflect to this shape in this line. So you're performing a reflection of this shape in this line. Well, I believe that the easiest way is to use tracing paper because if you make a tracing of the object like that, now notice two things. You've got to trace the line as well and make sure that you can place the line in exactly the same place as it was in just a minute. So remove the tracing paper, flip it over, and now place the whole thing back. And this shape is now the image of that shape, and it's in exactly the right place. So you've done it, providing, of course, you now mark these points on the graph you're given and draw up the shape. The shape, of course, should look like a mirror reflection, with the line of the mirror being the line of reflection. And it does. Here's another one which is slightly different for two reasons. First of all, the uh, reflection line is sloping, uh, and secondly, the actual object itself is on either side of the reflection line. It's straddling the reflection line. But the principle for working out the reflection is exactly the same as before. Let's just do it. First of all, we get some tracing paper and we make a tracing of the shape and the reflection line and slide it off. Then we flip over and slide the reflection line back into its old place and now we've got the four points of our answer or our image and if you record those four points on your graph you will have answered the question. Now let's look at uh, reflections in a slightly different way. Those two shapes are, shapes are uh, reflections of each other and we need to find the line of reflection which is going to go somewhere along there but we need to do it accurately. So what we do is we join up one pair of reflected points, equivalent points, and use a ruler just to find its midpoint. Do it for another one, use a ruler to find its midpoint, join them up, and that's the line of reflection. Now, that's a perfectly good way for most circumstances of doing it. However, a slightly more mathematical way would be to use uh, perpendicular bisectors. And I'm going to use the perpendicular bisector of these two points. And if you remember, we draw a couple of arcs uh, without changing the opening of the, compass, uh, of the compass from those two points, and then join up the crossover points. And that is the perpendicular bisector, but it's also the line of reflection between the two shapes, because it's exactly halfway um, between all the equivalent points. And so it's the line of reflection. Now, the circumstances in which you're likely to get a question uh, on reflections are, is to find uh, the single transformation that uh, changes this to this or vice versa. Now we know it's a reflection and we can easily draw the line of reflection but what they would expect you to do is to write down the equation of the line of reflection. In this case it's the line y equals x. So if you're describing the transformation between the two shapes the answer is reflection in the line y equals x.